Alright, hello everybody. This is a mini kind of podcast kind of video of discussion and predictions. Uh, basically, video game companies this year of 2021. I'm here with Togert. Hi, I am Togert. I do things, hopefully. Yeah. He is also my assistant producer of my music. Oh yeah, I do that. I I do that, yeah. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about Nintendo. Nintendo, they always find a way to get me excited for their games, but always find a way to disappoint me every year. I just find ways to not talk to them. It's like the weird kid at the playground. You only talk to him because he brings a really nice sandwich to school. Yeah, basically. Let's go with that. Yeah. But he's also like the really cool jock that everybody talks to because he's like the best one who doesn't get into many fights. Yeah. Yeah, Nintendo's like the weird cousin. The weird cousin. Yeah, like everybody likes him sometimes, but other times everybody's like, whoa, okay, buddy, that's uh, a bit too far. I should, I should stop with this bit. Yeah. Right, so <laughs> today... Uh, for Nintendo, we will just be talking about their IPs, uh, of their hardware, and basically just general predictions so what they could announce or release this year. So, first we'll be going over IPs, and we'll start off with Mario. <laughs> <laughs> what a weirdo, what a freak, what a, what, what a guy. What a, what a guy. So the Mario series... Um, we all know about the day of March 31st. Isn't that about... like um, uh, they remove uh, All Stars, right? That's when, they like rem- gonna... they remove All Stars from the, from All Stars. That's such a weird idea. I mean, what do you think about it? I mean, I mean, I never owned the game, and like I want to because I personally I love all three of them. But since I haven't owned it, I can't really put my opinion out on it. But it seems like a very weird, like, push. Maybe it's because it was limited to what, how, however many they can make. But, I mean, I don't know. That's the only reason I think of it, and that's what I've heard. But besides that, I don't know. I never really read into it. So maybe there is a reason, and I just don't know and probably don't care. But I don't right. know. I mean, it's definitely a weird approach to take. A, a, a new company idea that I hope is not normal. Yeah. Well, with that said, what do we think of the Mario 35th anniversary? Uh, well, we have Nintendo Land coming, and from the first preview, there wasn't much. But we can tell there's a lot of heart in it, and it almost feels like Universal's take to um to Star Wars Land, where you can interact um, and it also costs you a thousand dollars to try to provide your family a fun experience. Uh, yeah. So there's always that. <laughs> you'll, you'll probably just be able to become Mario at one point. Yeah. Like you, you, your kids will be able to climb through a tube and murder a giant lizard. I'm if I'm not promised that, then I'm I'm not going back. Though it's really weird to call it like Super Nintendo World because it's really only about Mario. Well, I mean, the rumor is right now that there's gonna be a Legend of Zelda area and like other ips but right now they just have a focus on mario since japan literally owns like i, I know good in japan they have i know in japan they're gonna have that mario kart ride and and i heard about that yoshi ride oh the yoshi one seems to be a sort of okay so there's two differences between the rides if i can give the uh, sort of explanation on them so um basically yoshi is more of a disneyland style ride like alice in wonderland peter pan where you're sort of just on a ant on a Yoshi going through whatever they decide to do for the ride, and Mario Kart is more of a roller coaster fusion, which is more of Universal's type. So it makes a lot of sense what they're doing, sort of integrating the kid it sort of uh, vibe, and then also putting the Mario Kart ride to make up for it. And rumors are there's a fourth one, but as far as I know, it's I mean a third one. As far as I know, there's only those three or those I, two. I heard about a Donkey Kong ride. That, yeah, that's another one of the big rumors. It's the Donkey Kong one, um, Legend of Zelda's rumored to own one, and I think it's Kirby, but I think the Kirby one is more down the line from what I've heard. Huh. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, so 
I mean, that's really all about Mario's 35th anniversary. There's uh, the weird idea of 3D All Stars being taken out of stores. I mean, I don't. I, fi- I really still find that a weird idea. Just um, they're taking it off shelves. Yeah. It's a oh, weird no. thing. Limited production seems like the most obvious thing for me, just because of what year it came out and like what they maybe would have gone through during the uh, production time. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up, uh, we're still talking about Mario. Mm, yeah, uh, I have a lot of notes on him. The next game. What? What? What could the next game be for? We the Mario already series? know what the next. Well, if new IP, we're not really sure. But coming back, IPs, we have the returning Wii U game, um, Super Mario 3D, uh, 3D World. Yeah, so, Super Mario 3D World. That's yeah, that was coming out this year. Mm-hmm. Which I I never played the game. I heard it was better than the Wii one, but uh, I mean I don't know. Everybody, all the Mario games have not really surprised me, except for one. But that we'll probably get into that later. I heard um, a lot. Of- I heard a lot of people that like the next Mario game is is just gonna be a sports game this year. Maybe a lo- like um, it- Strikers would. If Strikers came back, I would pay full money to buy that. Oh god, I want Strikers to come back so bad. Uh, man. I mean, I feel like Strikers is regarded as like their best um their best sports game besides um tennis, but that's because it brought us uh, Waluigi as a main character. Yeah, but no, and- yeah, I mean. Other type of Mario games, uh, 2D. I mean, I don't think there will be another 2D game, 2D Mario game on the Switch because we already have new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. I don't really find a point in selling another 2D game on there. I, don't know. I would, I would love the idea of um, because I remember everybody really loved Sonic Mania, and um, yeah, granted it would be a big cop off, but I don't know. I mean, Mario Maker seems to be able to fill in the boots for it, so there really is Mario like, Maker said, and the U Deluxe. Yeah, there's no real reason. There's no real reason to make another one. They could just continuously update the second one, which they did. They updated it last year, right? A couple times. Yeah, and then they also announced that they wouldn't be making any more updates. So oh, nice. Yeah, wow. that you you know that menu where you, like you can select styles. Yeah, and then where it says other styles, it says 3D World. Yeah, oh. that's the only other style. So that. <laughs> <laughs> the plural in other styles is gonna bother me so much. That's that's great. Gotta love Nintendo and their interesting branding. Yeah. Uh, 3D Mario game. I mean, we already have Super Mario Odyssey. I know there's a lot of rumors about like making an Odyssey uh, two. What are your thoughts on it? You were a big Mario Odyssey player for a while. What what do you what do you think they should do? Should they do a I, sequel? I love Super Mario Odyssey. Um, it it was basically uh like if you really think about it, it's really like Super Mario Galaxy, but Odyssey is more like in sixty four roots. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, they don't really do any sequels with their three D games. I mean, if you think about, if you think back to Galaxy One and Galaxy Two, yeah. the only reason Galaxy has a sequel. Is because they had so many ideas of Galaxy, and they were just they were only just gonna try to update the game. But since they had so many ideas, uh, they decided to make a full blown sequel, and that's, a, that's that's how it happened. That's why we got both Galaxies on the Wii. Yeah. So it'd be really interesting. I think if they went with an Odyssey two to follow up on like what they did with um what they do with Galaxy. I mean, granted, it's probably very different circumstances, but with a lot of people talking about what could they even do next, I think the most obvious idea is a sequel. Because, I mean, what other direction can you even take this franchise at this point? It's more Basically. or less just like, like, I mean, I personally, I would be fine if we didn't get a new 3D Mario for a while. And that's the a, that's a case with a lot of Nintendo games right now, because we've gotten so many of others, and I'll get to them later, that I'm hoping for more shine on games that we have not gotten for several decades probably yeah um so yeah i don't don't really think if i don't really think they should have an odyssey 2 i mean it probably sounds like a good idea but 
we paper, haven't heard anything yeah. about like them having too many ideas for it. We haven't heard anything. So mm. it would make sense if Odyssey 2, uh, for it to come to a next Nintendo console, uh, even if a Nintendo... But I don't really think there's going to be a new Nintendo console, but we'll get to that later. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I really like my brain kind of pitched out for a bit, but yeah, no, I have notes on that too. Um, that's I all think, my thoughts on that. I mean, I, I mean, there's a lot they can do, but I think something that everybody really wants out of the entirety of a 3D Mario thing is to get a remake, or not a remake, a remaster of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Because, I mean, they kind of just went willy-nilly on the new one and just didn't include the sequel. And yeah. uh, we saw what happened with that. You know, that was that was a great feud between people. So, I don't know. I feel like their best approach right now in the next, like, year or two is just Super Mario Galaxy 2, um, Mario Wii. But it'd be really stupid because Wii is the same thing as, like, 3D... Um, not 3D, I'll sorry. So. They did the remaster, right? Um, for, uh, for Wii on Switch? For which game? For uh, Super Mario Wii. They did that, right? No. Uh, hold on. Well, either... Okay, well, it doesn't really matter. My point being is that if they wanted to do more than one game like they did with 3D All-Stars, then I think their best approach was just to be, like, to take the Wii games that they didn't use and then put that on another collection. Right. That would probably be their best approach to doing um, Galaxy 2, which I feel like they're going to do. I feel like they're going to run out of... They're going to need some space for new IPs to come in or just old IPs returning. And that would be a great time to fill in space for, because everybody's already over 3D All Stars, even since it's about to die. Right. Um, the next thing I want to talk about about Mario is a Mario Kart Nine. Should it happen? Yeah, I think <laughs> I think the whole craze from um from earlier last year with the uh, the mobile game was not the fact that everybody played it, but it also showed that, like, people are still interested in a franchise that has been overdone several times. But I think I personally, and I've heard a lot of things about it too, is um, why have they never integrated the skin concept into a normal Mario game like they did with the mobile game? Hmm. It really um, it really bothered me um, when they did that, because I was like, damn, this would be really cool, but in an actual Mario Kart title. And I was like, I don't get why they haven't done that. That would literally introduce an amazing concept. It could also give them the opportunity to do loot boxes, but I'm just not gonna... I'm I'm gonna pray that doesn't happen. Because <laughs> I do not need Mario Kart loot boxes filling up a credit card. Yeah. I, if uh, they do, good on them. That's more money for them. I mean, I'm just not too sure about a Mario Kart 9 because I feel like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe just feels like the most definitive way to play Mario Kart right now on the Switch. So if I'm thinking about it, uh, if they were to make an, a new Nintendo console, uh, then they could just make Mario Kart 9 right there. Yeah, but, sounds the most reasonable. But if, like, if they're not going to be moving on from the Switch, I really don't think a Mario Kart 9 would be the most wise thing to do. I don't know. I mean, it it's makes just, sense from I mean, what you're trying to say. It'll be really weird for me because, like, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the most definitive way. Then again, this is the same company that released, like, that can release, like, two different Mario parties on one console, so... <laughs> they can also release the same game for four years and still get away with it. Yeah. So, I mean, hell, they'll, they'll bring Reggie back just to be able to sell more consoles, and I would buy it. <laughs> If Reggie came back, I would buy every Nintendo game, even like the weird anime ones. Yeah, uh, no that's problem. all I have on Mario. Do you have anything else? Uh, let me check my. I'm literally playing Minecraft as we're doing this. Oh my um, god. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. I I can't believe I wrote in my notes Cat Mario to remember Super Mario 3D World. Um, oh. And then there's P. I I don't know about it, but I think it'd be really interesting if they did Super Mario Galaxy three. I think it'd be really, I don't know, just a new uh, way to sort of introduce it. Just like you know, complete the trio. Two is such a weird number. 
<laughs> I would really want a Galaxy 3, though. Yeah, there's a lot of fans who say, like... A- instead of, a, fast, instead of Odyssey 2, I... No, just, just a complete no to Odyssey 2. Galaxy 3, baby. Yeah, you know, we don't even need it. If he releases that, I feel like we'd be good without it. Think of the, All right. think of the trailer for it. You, we know you wanted two, so we gave you three. <laughs> All right, so any, like, general predictions we have for Mario this year? Like, what could they announce or release about Honestly, it? Honestly, nothing. I'm just, they should put full projection on um the world. I think that's their big, uh, they're going to be their big selling point of the year. Is um, projecting it more uh, than other things that they have. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean, like, they can't really do much. They've already did Odyssey, and it, maybe you're right. A sports title could, in my eyes, be like the one thing they could do, and I'd be like, all right, yeah, I'd buy it. Because uh, like, you can't really go wrong with it. I'm really predicting a sports game this year for Mario, so yeah. And I got you. It, it makes it makes the most logical sense, at least. All right. Next franchise we're going to be talking about is Zelda, and Ooh. this year of 2021. It is its thirty fifth anniversary. I did just like read last, on. just like last year of twenty twenty was Mario's thirty fifth anniversary. So, uh, what could we predict of what would be happening this year for Zelda? Uh, well, I mean, we already know one thing: we're going to get that sequel, no matter what. Breath that of the sequel, Wild too. Yeah, that has to come out this year. I'm, I'm really excited because, like, granted, I was never able to play the first game, so I'm hoping to really get into that soon. But the world, the environment seems so alive that the sequel, like the trailer for a game I had never played got me hyped, and I was like, wow. No, yeah, this thing has potential. <laughs> so I definitely think they're going to do something amazing with it. I, I really want to talk about this, because like, I really thought that they would release it in like, the 2020 winter. Mm-hmm. Like, like, November, December, like, make it that big holiday release. But I feel like since it's especially the 35th anniversary of Zelda, I really think that they'll be able to make the sequel it the holiday release. Because basically, I, yeah. uh, last year's Nintendo's holiday release was Age of Calamity, basically. Hyrule mm-hmm. Warriors. Uh, I really think that Breath of the Wild 2 can come out this year. It was announced back in 2019 with mm-hmm. like that whole trailer it was just amazing it looks really good i'm i'm and that, at, at the end of the trailer it's sitting now in production but i was a little skeptical like a little skeptical about that because i wouldn't think of that trailer as showing that the game is in production yeah can i also say nintendo has a thing for saying something's in production and then announce the next year that it has to be delayed i'll get back to that topic in a bit I'm really <laughs> bad about something that isn't coming out in the next maybe two years. Yeah, so I I was really skeptical about that because from the looks of that trailer, it looks like they they basically have the whole story down of it. Yeah, and if you really think about it, they have they have all of their assets from from the previous game. Yeah, so I, I'm just thinking like, what else? Uh, what else what would be up? in development? Like, yeah, they have all their assets. Um, like they they basically still have all their stuff. But I really got into thinking about it. I was like, huh, they have all of this in this game. So what can they really do with the sequel? Like, airplanes. Like, Link has Cars. all these like divine beast powers and like the Sheikah Slate powers. And I was like. What else can you do with that and make it more interesting and cars? GTA GTA Legend of Zelda. I want to be able to rob a golem and <laughs> and steal his car, but it's like the Flintstones where your feet are the. I was really thinking they have like they have all these uh like shrines and I was like, what more can you do with those shrine trials? Yeah. That's basically all I was thinking for like the last few weeks. Like, I I was really thinking about it. What what can they do in this sequel? So, yeah, that's just my thinking. Uh, do you have any, anything else to say? Um, I mean, I, I feel like they have a lot of options with this game. People, I feel like, are willing to wait for it. Because they remember how good the first one was and the delays it caused. 
And I think that's the thing about a game. If your game is delayed, and hopefully every developer takes notes from this this year, from the inevitability that was Cyberpunk and how terrible of a release it was, um, wait on your games if they're not good. If you need to, take the time. Let people be angry. Because then maybe it'll blow over and people will realize how, like, why it took that long. Yeah. So I think if this game ends up going on the on the next gen console, I think everybody would be fine with it. Because let's say they don't do a holiday release and they just go full Switch Pro. I think it'd make a good amount of sense because that's what sold the, the Switch in the first place. This, so Breath of the Wild, Smash, Splatoon, all of those sold the Switch in the first year. I'm probably blanking on it a couple others, but my point is it's definitely a good idea to keep it under wraps for a bit if they have to, just to perfect it so that it doesn't have to come back into like minor production or have get a ton of updates on it. Yeah. But um, I mean, that's really it on it. But I think my favorite thing about Legend of Zelda, because you kind of brought it up, was what would they do to wait the time on it? And since it is the 35th anniversary, I think they should make a Skyward Sword. Because, uh, well, actually, no, no, no. I don't think I feel like it's going to happen. So. I want to say back in the middle or early last year, there was a Amazon leak that showed a Skyward Sword remake for the Switch. And huh. everybody's just sort of been like, that that disappeared. Yeah. So maybe Nintendo has a big plan for it for the 35th anniversary. Because they, ha- they have been having a tendency of just releasing their older games. Um, so I don't know. This seems like a like good collections. Yeah. Uh, but what I think they would do for Zelda this year for its thirty fifth anniversary, I mean, just like the basic merchandising, um, in in the past they they did like remake games, mm-hmm. um, but I feel like they're just gonna do another collection game, like what they did with Mario last year. Uh, I think I, that sounds like the most likely opportunity. I mean, to be fair, they did do um. Link's New Awakening, right? They did the remake on that, and a lot of people... It didn't get big press, but it was regarded as a really good remake. Or a remaster, just because it looks so pretty with the chibi style. Yeah. Uh, people oh. people basically praise it. Uh, it was mostly because it, it was on the Game Boy, which wasn't really the most um, good Advanced. hardware to use for that game, from what I heard. Mm. And... And with the remake, it like uh, the art style is pretty, and you can see more of everything, which the Game Boy didn't allow you to. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think that'd be the best approach for me. Honestly, I think a new remake would be really fun. It's a you know they need the time that, like I said, they could take. I think that'd be their best option, just to do um a full fledged uh remake for whatever game they decide to do. All right, that's all I ha- That's all I have on Zelda. Uh, do you have anything else? Um, I want new Smash characters from Legend of Zelda because that's Ooh. a perfect transition from Smash stuff. Whoa, segue! Oh, okay, we're talking about Smash Bros. Okay, <laughs> I, I want to. I okay, look. Here's the thing, I love Smash Bros. for the life of me. Those notes did not even need to come from the internet to know how much I'm going to be fueled during this part. <laughs> so, all right, what, all right, what do you, I'll, I'll let you take the stage, right. basically. Hi, guys, I'm Togi. Hi, uh, professional Smash player. Not really, I just owned the Wii U game for three years of my life and I didn't <laughs> play anything else. Um, so, uh, after the most recent uh, Smash reveal, they did their usual me costume announcement. Mm-hmm. and. Everybody was very, very scared about who they would announce because uh, it was an RPG um, sort of announcement. So everybody was like, oh, no. Oh, no, they're going to massacre our boy. And then Gino came out. <laughs> and that hurt, all right? Because that definitely just slaughters Gino from ever becoming a Smash character now, which is really sad. I'm very sad about it. You know, Gino was is a big fan favorite, and this this um this Smash Bros looked like the one where we were gonna get every big character. Um, I think Gino was just a big like sad thing because the me costumes so far have been really interesting. I mean, I think it started with Sans, then it went to Cuphead, then it went to the Fallout guy, 
and everybody's just sitting at the edge of the seats now for every single review, and we were like, oh my god, who could this be? And then they do Gino, so it's like, you don't win all of it, but, you know, <laughs> you win some, you lose some, and I think that time we definitely took a loss, but who knows, maybe that sacrifice was done for something like Master Chief, which... I have said it once, I've said it twice. If Master Chief is to get in this game, I'll lose it. Because <laughs> a character like Master Chief could work only for the reason that his, even though it's a gun type game, it's not blood. It's alien goo and alien guns. They can get away with it more than the Doom guy. And I know you, I know you play Doom a lot, so I want to ask you about it. Um, what would, do, you, do you think they could do the Doom guy into Smash? I think it would work. Huh, Doom Guy. I mean, Doom Guy would be really cool. Uh, I can't really think of this. Like, what would his moveset be? Yeah, that's that's the thing about all these. Um, well, that's the magical part. You see, Sakurai has a thing for just making the most obscure characters work. So, I feel like it would make the most sense to not put him in, only due to his background. Yeah. But at this point, we just got um, uh, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy. And that kind of changes the table because we finally got an RPG character. So that means we don't really need to get another RPG because we, um, we got the Dragon Quest one. And then we got Joker, which are both RPG type games. Yeah. So it's like if we added another RPG rep, that would just be adding fuel to the flame. So I think at now it's basically just third party IPs. I think that's all they can do. So people have definitely said Doom Guy would be really interesting. Me personally, I wouldn't mind it. I I've seen I've played the first Doom for a bit. It's really fun because you you can mindlessly play that game. Yeah, and there is like uh, Doom representation on the Switch because they got like the first three Dooms on there, and you can get Doom Eternal now. So it'll be really cool to see Doom Guy in Smash Bros. More to Master Chief, basically. Main thing is, uh, we're getting three more fighters in this yeah, we still volume have two fighter pass. Yeah, so I doubt they would make a volume three. I highly doubt they. Would I have think a I think they're doing pass. three. I think Sakurai goes well. I mean, sure, after last year's events, it doesn't really seem like they would. I don't know though. I feel like if we're optimistic about it, I think it could happen. Eh. I think that's our safest bet. Uh, but the three fighters, I'm um, really predicting, like, like um, being honest, not joking. I would like to see Crash Bandicoot. I, oh I'm yeah, predicting I, Crash I, Bandicoot. I really think Crash is supposed to get in um, when Sephiroth came in because, or not Sephiroth. Um, no, yeah, Sephiroth because I remember Sakurai making tweets after the um, the most recent reveal. And um, and they they all seem like Crash Bandicoot related. So I was like, wait, no way, Crash gets in now, like after so long after waiting. Cause then I'm pretty sure I don't think they actually announced the the remix getting Switch ports. But if that would have been the case, that probably would have just been like a slap in the face if we didn't get him into Smash. But mm. um, I honestly think Crash. I think Crash should get in more than Spyro. I had an argument with my friend the other day about it. And I genuinely think Crash should get into... Because Spyro is not an icon. Alright, I'm... Uh, it, granted, uh, it is a big Sony me. property. <laughs> Look, I, I know it's a big Sony property. And... Uh, come on, man. It was in Skylanders. That's, like, the only thing that it did big. Crash is literally regarded as the one who had to go against Mario during the... The era of... I don't know what you want to call the mascots, I guess. Because it was Sonic and Mario for so long. And the PS4 had to, or not PS4, PlayStation had to be like, all right, well, what do we put into the ring? And then comes Crash Bandicoot with the best ads ever made for television. <laughs> I, I love the Crash Bandicoot ads, all right? Nothing, there is nothing I love more in this world than Crash Bandicoot ads. <laughs> if YouTube were to only play Crash Bandicoot ads, I would let, the, I would let, it, I would let it do three increments of them. That's how much I love them. But, um, yeah, no, I don't know. I'm, I think if for three fighters, if I had to make at least two guesses, Crash and probably a Microsoft representative. Or just 
hell, they could do uh, whoever they want at this point. FNAF seems like it has a probability of getting it, which is really scary. But I feel uh, like it'll get a me costume. I think it'll get a me costume. I feel like I feel like Five Nights at Freddy's would just get like me costumes. I think me costume is their best bet, and I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm fine with that as well. Because I I love the idea of getting Freddy Fazbear <laughs> to match. Because it would have the same effect Stans did. It was so stupid. It should have never happened. And yet, it happened. Here we are. Just, I, I can't get over that trailer. Hearing Megalovania just made my day. And I think it was during the Crash, not the Crash one, the Banjo one, right? Uh, Which one was it? I think it was, think it was no, it was Terry, Terry Bogard. Terry, yeah. So that was that was what made it fun because I feel like a good amount of people were like, "Oh, Terry." Oh, Terry. Yeah. Hey. Cool. Uh, and then everybody was like, then, "All right, well, I guess Sans. we can be." Sans just comes out of left, right field because no one saw this. No one saw this. No, well, no was, one. Like I don't, I don't even know how Undertale. It, Toby, oh yeah, that was the whole joke, right? Toby Fox and. uh and Sakurai had played um had played some games of Smash. Oh yeah. Um, yeah no, I think I think FNAF would be really funny to get as neat costumes just to prove to everybody that anything is possible a- now. Anything is possible. You you want you want you want Stickman? You want Henry Stickman? He's in. Henry oh my Stickman. god, a Henry Stickman me costume. <laughs> that... I'll, I'll be fine with that. I'll honestly <laughs> be fine with that. They remove a third character for only. <gasps> That would be really cool, actually. If um, I would honestly make that. I think uh, removing one of the character packs for a only me costume centered one, because since we only ever get I think four or five, if uh, yeah. we traded it to get ten new me costumes and we're all third party IP ones, not just Nintendo only. Yeah. I think I would definitely trade it for that. Hey, right, so um, three more fighters for volume for volume two fighter pass and once I'm predicting. Crash Bandicoot, Master Chief, and I was thinking about this third one. Like, um, I'm either thinking like it could be another Nintendo rep. I'm not completely too sure about it, but I was thinking of of like um, another Zelda rep, or maybe another Pokemon rep. I think, in my opinion, they. I I think they're fine with doing a new um Nintendo rep. Because we have gone let me let me check the Smash DLC so far at least. Okay, so yeah. So far we have gotten Joker, Hero, Banjo, Terry, and Byleth. Out of the first one, it was only technically Byleth that was a Nintendo rep. And I think yeah, Terry? But I Byleth... think I could be wrong. By no, Byleth was their was... Uh, Iron Man rep. Hold on. And then um, let me see. Oh, and then this one, we got Min Min, which is another Nintendo rep. And then we got um, which is no Min Terry's Min. not a Terry's not a Nintendo rep. Okay, yeah, that Let's makes. So yeah, we've gotten um, we've gotten Min Min, and we've gotten Byleth. So that's two of so far two of, of Nintendo eleven Nintendo reps for DLC. Yeah. So I think they can double. I think they can triple dip. I think if they went for one more, and my honest opinion, I think it either has to be a Legend of Zelda rep or a Kirby rep. Kirby. Mm. Yeah, I think Kirby deserves maybe one more rep, and I think that would be good, only because I think any Nintendo rep would be fine. But I think Kirby and Legend of Zelda need it the most because they haven't gotten a new character. Since Brawl. I think it's both of them having gotten a new character since Brawl. Yeah. So it feels like a sort of obligate and I mean sure, there always is your other characters like Captain Toad who could be in and then there could be um like I don't know, any mine not Minecraft, um oh I'm forgetting. They did Piranha Plant too, which counts. Yeah. Um so I feel like no Mario rep. I, I think we I think we're fine with no Mario reps. I think Legend of Zelda should have the highest chance of getting one. Just because of how much they deserve, I think it would tie in really well with a um with a Breath of the Wild two release. Yeah, I I don't think they've ever done that, but everybody's always sort of just like felt it as a rule, which I think is dumb. But also, I fall into that category of thinking that's how it could work. Um, 
but yeah, I think I think that would make the most logical sense. And then if not, then they just do a Pokemon rep, and everybody walks home very, very um, uh, uneased. <laughs> the word that I could look for. Um. Yeah. Uh, do we have uh, anything else to talk about uh, for alternate? Uh, well, I mean, I could go on every day. I mean, come on, the, the infinite possibilities of reps. But if I had to lock in my three that I want in the game, because I mean, if Minecraft Steve got in, I think there's just a million possibilities. But if I wanted to lock characters in, I think it'd be a third party rep, a Sonic character, and a Nintendo character. And I only say Sonic because they did us dirty with Shadow. All right, <laughs> they did Shadow dirty, so it'd be cool if we got Eggman to complete the sort of villain saga. But if not, I think um, I think I think Crash. I think Crash should be the third party rep, and then Tails. I think Raymond. I really want Raymond in the game. <laughs> Either Raymond, Master Chief, or Doom Slayer. I think those three would be really cool. But I mean, I'm fine with any character, really. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't play them all. Of course, I rarely play Terry or Hero. Uh, I don't play Byleth at all. I don't have any plans on playing Sephiroth, even though he looks disgusting. I don't play Min Min at all. But <laughs> I think I think the thing about Smash isn't the playing the character. I think it's seeing what like happens when a character is introduced, because like. Sans was such a surprise. Steve was probably the biggest surprise out of all of them because yeah. he got a full fledged character. So I think, um, I think with Steve, it kind of shows us a lot. Oh, and Sora, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, because <laughs> that would just mean that Disney is involved. And then, okay, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop because then this just becomes a Smash Bros. thirty minute part. Yeah. Yeah, I think let, I think let, let's just move on. Yep, I think a smooth transition would be um the third party rep since we're already on that sort of topic. Oh, actually, wait, uh, do I have more notes on Nintendo reps? I feel like I do. Um, oh yeah, I actually have a a list of stuff. Um, all right, so what do you got? What do you got for um, some, uh, some well, final couple remarks on Nintendo? Well, I I, I still have a lot of stuff for it about like Nintendo other franchises. Oh yeah. Wait, so we're moving on for Smash Bros, right? Yeah. Okay. I I wanted to I want to talk about Pokemon next because it's this year's also its twenty fifth anniversary. They just make them all at the same time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so I know this year we're getting the the Pokemon Snap game for the Switch. Yeah, that was another one of my notes. Uh, do you have anything to say about that? I, I really don't have anything to talk about it. Actually. I think it's going to be really fun. They don't need to do anything new. The, the smoke Pokemon Snap is already an amazing Pokemon game. Snap. I think all they got to do is add new areas. Uh, what's also heavily rumored is a Diamond and Pearl remake. Mm-hmm. I have that. Um, I, I mean, it will definitely be in like uh, Sword and Shield's art style. I just don't want it to look bland, you know? Because mm. Sword and Shield, to me, looked very, like, generic and bland. And the I mean, graphics were cool for, like, a home console Pokemon game, but... Oh, no, I think they really gotta... Because they really gotta sell the idea I... of Diamond and Pearl remake. Yeah. They, they, they gotta up the ante on, you know, like... put on a pedestal right now, just to make up style. for... Just to make up for Let's Go. Yeah, I think graphics on it cannot be Let's Go Pikachu. I think they embrace the 2D style. Basically. Let's see, what do people have on the Diamond and Pearl remake? So people's idea are that they should keep it 2D. Yeah, and I honestly agree. 2D, 3D style, if that makes sense. So it's played... Sometimes shift between 2D, 3D, uh, Mm -hmm. like what the modern Sonic games do. Mm-hmm. Well, kind of. I think. Kind of, yeah. I think they keep the um the linear um movement, if that makes sense, where you can only move left, right, left, right, up, lag, like. They keep yeah. that, but they make it because that game was already three D, two D, where it was sort of trying to be like, sort of um, something with like the cube that that looks like it's three D, 
just called a cube, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> something like that. Um, I think that's their best approach to it, because, like, this isn't a new game. They can save their new ideas for a, the next uh, Pokemon game that they'll probably make in the next two years. Uh, or, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Like, Diamond and Pearl, I mean, I... Yeah, sure, it seems cool, but I I don't really have any, like, memories of Diamond and Pearl. I have memories of uh, Black Black Version 2. I had it on my DS, and that was, like, the best thing ever to play on it for me. Um, Mm -hmm. I was really excited about, like, a a home console Pokemon game, like uh, Sword and Shield. I was really excited about that, but there was barely anything you can do in it Mm -hmm. and it just felt very easy and i and i'm pretty sure i know why it's because of the shared xp because like you could just have like one of your most powerful pokemon and just defeat uh the enemy so easily and because of shared xp you would just easily level up your other pokemon without using them Mm. and that's what made it so easy. Like I was just blasting through gyms, man. Yeah. Or, yeah was, um, there weren't really gyms, they were more like stadiums. But it, it, I'm, I'm trying to say this. The game was too easy. There was barely anything to do in it, unlike Black Version 2. Like like in Black Version 2, or like just Black Version in general, mm-hmm. and with white version. Like there was like the like the movie studio stuff. Uh, there were like tournaments you can do. Yeah, uh, I just felt like there were more stuff to do in that in that in those sets of games. But with Sword and Shield, I barely could find anything to do. Just catch Pokemon, level them up, beat the stadiums. And that's all I really did. Hmm. Well. I don't know. I mean, I've heard a, I heard very mixed opinions, but I know the biggest regard is that Sword and Shield was not a good game. It sold, of course it did, because every Pokemon game sells. I mean, it's fine. They barely did anything with it. But I don't know. I think I think the main thing is they just got to bring back the the love for um the love for pick for Pokemon. I was about to say Pixelmon. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about Pokemon. Yeah, there's not much really besides like the announcements they made, which were just Snap and Diamond and Pearl remake. Let's see, uh, do I have anything on it? No. So, um, um can, can, I, can I get mad at um Nintendo for a minute for a game? Okay. All right, hold on. Where is Metroid Prime Four? <laughs> they announced uh, it three years ago. I, I and what, and what they can't about that it. next. Then they canceled it. Metroid Prime 4. Oh my god, how long has it been? How long has it been? It's been... 2017. Since 20, it has been four years since we've gotten four any... No, 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 wait, no, never mind. I'm wrong. We have gotten news on it. You know what we got? That they're redoing it. That they're redoing it. <laughs> oh my god, I remember watching that video. I was at school and I was like, oh, look, finally some Metroid Prime 4 news. Everybody's... And then it, they're like, uh, we're sorry, we're gonna have to delay the game because uh, we wanted to redo. And I'm like, and there's probably the argument against me that like, oh yeah, you just said Breath of the Wild two should take their time. This is different. This is different. <laughs> there is a big, big deal with Metroid Prime Four because there has not been a Metroid game since. Let's see, Metroid game. Then if we go to, there there was that like that weird spin off of there was that weird spin off on the Wii U. It was like Federation Force or something. Uh yeah. The last time it was is Freder is Federation Force and Sam is Return. Yeah. And one of those was on the 3DS. Oh. No, both were on the 3DS, sorry. Oh. So uh, I just I don't know. It's been three years since the the latest game. We've waited three years since the last announcement. I, I heard so that the, I heard that they're still looking for like big roles in the development team for the game. I'm not sure what those roles were, but I they're like very specific big roles. It's not like roles like um, like supporting artists or something. It's yeah. like big roles. Yeah, I get you. 
Uh, but you... this year, I, I, I want to see Image, man. <laughs> I want to see something from this game. I just want a smithering of a nice thought that Metroid Prime 4 has not just been thrown away. Because I do not want E3 to come around and then for announce that Metroid Prime 4 is cancelled and that we are working on Cat Mario 2. I do not want <laughs> Cat Mario 2, Nintendo. I, Guys, I just, it's okay, we're making just, it Just up. like a small trailer. I don't, I don't even want a trailer, man. I just want to see Samus in a suit. <laughs> uh, and like, it makes sense why they're making it. Both games sold really well. The last three games they made were really positive and sold really well. So yeah. it's obvious why they should do this. You know what isn't obvious? Why they're delaying it. <laughs> okay, no. I, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to them, though. It, it makes sense why they're doing this. They want to perfect it because of the sort of image it has behind it. Yeah. So, I mean, take your time, but just do it right. Don't be a cyberpunk. That's literally the, like the. <laughs> Don't be a cyberpunk. Here. Don't be a cyberpunk. All just... right. <sighs> All right. Wait. So, should I go next or? Uh, yeah. Wait. What do you got? I got. I got a lot. So. Oh, I I wanted to talk about Kirby for a minute. Mm, yay, Kirby! Fun. Uh, I like because, Kirby. um. I heard about like tweets from Hal Laboratory that they oh, have yeah. big, that they have big plans for Kirby this year. I've seen I've uh that's actually where I got my news too. I just went on a Twitter account and they were like, oh yeah, Hal announced it, and I was like, yay, Hal! The last three Kirby games have not been good. Please make a good one. I mean, Star Allies and that um, what was what's the other one called? The one after Star Allies. Was it Yarn? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was like that online multiplayer one. Oh, uh, I think it was like Fighters or Clash. Okay, yeah, so was, in the last... It in was the last Star Allies series, and Clash something. Uh, yeah, so I in the last with that. series, we had Star but, Allies, Epic Yarn, Kirby, uh, Super Kirby Clash, and Kirby Fighters. Yeah. And, and they, were, they were very, like, not really Kirby. big Kirby games. Star Allies was good. So I'm really, really thinking they could really go out with Kirby this year. If they're saying if they have plans. And what I'm thinking is that I think they're going to do, like, a 2D, 3D Kirby game. If you really think about it. Mm, I could see it. A 3D Kirby game, though, that? It interests me. But I think... They, I mean, they could do, like, the same thing with, like, um, with like Sonic. Just, like, the 2D, 3D transitions. Oh, yeah, I get you. I think... I don't know. I think, in my opinion, I kind of know what they should do i mean like star okay. allies was kind of boring i think <laughs> i played the demo so don't take heart don't, don't take heart to it but star allies was really boring <laughs> i played star allies it was it's an interesting game I, it made me enjoy a lot of the characters i'll give it that and they kept adding dlc to it so it showed they have cared for it and there was a lot of good references so I wouldn't call it a terrible game. I would call it just a Kirby game. Because a lot of Kirby games are a good amount the same. But you know what isn't? What? Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to what, where Kirby Air Ride. <laughs> Look. People want it. Give us Kirby Air Ride. It is literally just Kirby Drive. It's Kirby, it's Kirby Kart. And yeah. it's funny. I think, I don't know, I think if they're going to do anything, I think it'd be funny because if they did Kirby I read because of how much it's been um, begged for. So, and it's a 3D, it's a 3D type game, so that'd be really interesting. They could add um, driving mechanics like um, the Wii, where you tilt it to, to move. Um, yeah. Another thing I'd want, and this is only just because of bias, uh, I played Kirby's Return to Dreamland a lot on the Wii, so... <laughs> I uh, I really that's why I like Star Allies actually because it reminds me a lot of uh, Return to Dreamland. So um yeah, oh, yeah I really think that um Kirby can go like that two D three D route like what Sonic does. It's really hinted from how Laboratories uh tweets about like how they have big plans for Kirby in this year twenty twenty one. So ah. we're gonna. Uh, talk my about... idea was a Kirby uh, Men Knight solo game. All right, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Meta Knight solo game. I only because I really like Meta Knight. All right. That's it. I do have anything else to talk about any Nintendo franchises. I don't really have anything else. Uh, I probably have a lot more. Let's see. 
Bayonetta 3, which is still to be uh, confirmed for this year and next year, which uh, is basically the same thing as Nitro Pride 4, and we haven't gotten much news on it. So we're hoping for some more news this year at E3. Mm -hmm. um, new Fire Emblem game, it's already been rumored. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. They basically make, they basically just make these in a factory. Um, and besides that, I have the remake. Oh, and then I have a lot of maybes. Uh, you want me to just speed through those? Uh, all right. Yeah, sure. All right, here we go. The maybes list. So, uh, we have a two D, a new two D Metroid game. Uh, in the same vein as I think it was called, I think it was the three DS one that came out, uh, Samus Returns. Um, people are saying it should just be a a new port. Some people are saying that it'll just be a new game. Um, some say some say that it might even be in the vein of Mario Maker. So I don't know. I think it'd be really interesting if uh, they went ahead with that. Uh, uh, next up, we have Splatoon three. It makes sense. It, I have a feeling they'll do that, even though this game is still getting updates as we speak. Uh, they still so, getting tournaments. Two still getting updates. Uh, yeah, they still have their tournaments and stuff. Uh, that are pretty sponsored by um by Sp by Splatoon themselves. But they had that whole controversy this year, so no one really knows if they're gonna touch Splatoon again, unless they uh. regard the melee stuff. Um, right. next up we have a new Nintendo Life type game from the Wii U. Um. They're saying it's going to be for the next Switch, most likely. Or it could be a holiday release. Uh, either way, I probably won't buy it, because I did not play that Nintendo Life game. <laughs> uh, a new F-Zero and a new Star Fox game. There were big rumors of both of them coming back with something. And we haven't really gotten anything about them. Uh, it would be really sad if they did a new, F uh, new Star Fox game. Due to the like oh, go for it. I feel like Star Fox would be more of a possible chance than F-Zero. I, don't know, I mean, like, if the the sad realization that I had was the uh, the actor for uh, the frog, uh, passed away last year, I think. Uh, so rest oh. in peace. Mm. Yeah. Um, but F Zero, on the other hand, I think F Zero should just take Star Fox place for the year. Cause we really did not get F Zero games. And people have been begging for him since Captain Falcon is such a, such a a big character in the Smash community. Yeah. I, I think it'd be really cool. It could it could definitely make up for a Mario Kart Nine being released on this um this console. Yeah. Uh, I next up. That. Yep. Uh, next up, we have a rhythm game. Now, of course, there's Rhythm Heaven, but some people are saying if they don't make a Splatoon three, they should do a Splatoon rhythm type game with um the um the news anchors, whatever they were called. Uh, oh yeah, I heard about the. That would be yeah. interesting to see. I would I wouldn't buy it per se, but it'd be cool if they made it because it's like you're sort of amp you're sort of putting two of um because both rhythm the rhythm games are regarded as some uh fun games to play on the Wii and 3ds, yeah. so it'd be cool if they brought them uh, if they brought a rhythm type game back. Next up we have WarioWare and Captain Toad two. I think Captain Toad and WarioWare have pretty solid chances of coming back. <laughs> Not Captain Toad, uh, Toad as much just because I think it got a remaster on the Switch. Yeah. So, uh, Captain Toad on the Switch. It, it's a remaster for the Wii U version, and they kept adding stuff to it, like like a VR mode with like the whole Nintendo label. That that that's a thing you people <laughs> probably never heard of in the last few months. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely rumors about it, but if it were up to me, I probably wouldn't make one. I mean, I mean, I don't know. They made a lot of updates to like the remastered version. I don't. I mean, if they were really to put the effort and not be lazy, they would make a sequel, but I don't know. I think they were just a little lazy with Captain Toad Remastered, and like they wouldn't make would a be, sequel. I feel like nobody would be screaming at the top of their lungs that the Captain Toad 2 did not come to my Switch. <laughs> uh, but on the other hand, a, um, a WarioWare game is definitely something people want. Um, mm. It's sort of in the same vein as wanting a rhythm game. We haven't gotten it in a long time, and people really like the idea of them. So I think WarioWare definitely should come onto the Switch. Uh, there have been rumors about it for a while. That in Wario Land, but I feel like WarioWare has a better chance just because of how much more of a party game it is in Wario Land. And finally, a new Pikmin game, because they gave us Pikmin 3 <laughs> remake instead of a new Pikmin game. And people are still waiting on the new Pikmin announcement, because we've been promised it, I'm pretty sure. And that is everything I have. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I wanted to move on from franchises to basically the Switch in general, like hardware, 
type of stuff. The Switch Pro. Uh, yeah, that's actually what I want to talk about. The heavily rumored Switch Pro. Because <laughs> the Mini wasn't enough. <laughs> Nintendo feels like Apple. They make the same thing over and over, and they'll still break records. <laughs> it's not fair. I swear to God. I mean, I can see, I can see a Switch Pro happening. Cause you know, I've been thinking for like last week or so. Um, I really think the Switch is starting to like show its age. It's almost, it's turned. It's basically four Three. years old. Yeah, four years old, and only a new console came out of it. The year, the same year, right? The the mini one came out the same year. Uh, the mini one came out less in 2019. Did it? I yeah. 28. No way. Wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, the light came out in 2019. Uh, Nintendo Switch Lite. Nintendo Switch Lite was. Oh my God! Really? Wow. I feel so young. <laughs> um. But, but yeah, I I really think that. Um, cause Nintendo has always been more about like, um, I guess, uh, the quality of their games instead of like the, the power quality of their consoles. Cause you know, like the Wii was in the generation of the Xbox 360 and the PS3 and those two consoles had HD, but the Wii didn't. So it was kind of weird. Oh. And then they got HD on the Wii U, but it wasn't really anything to write home about because, like, graphical power, it's still very less compared to, like, the PS4 and the Xbox One. And now the Nintendo Switch released three years before the Xbox Series X and the PS5, bleh, P- PlayStation 5. Is that the, is that the Italian so, I'm really starting to think that the Switch has is starting to show its age a bit. They really need to up their power a bit. Um, maybe, maybe they could do 4K. I'm not too sure about that though. I've heard of considerations of 180p. Yeah. I I don't know. I just I just really think they should up the power of the Switch. Um, but well, I was also thinking of like, um. Because the, there's some people like saying that a Switch Pro would be like only a home console; it wouldn't be portable. And I don't know; it wouldn't really make much sense to me. Like, th- would you really want to buy just a home only version of the Switch if you already have a home and portable version of the Switch? Hmm. That's and, a very and and if you have a light, that doesn't really make sense either, because like you bought the light to ha- to have portable gaming, and then you would just buy the Switch Pro. Why can't you just save enough money for both the home and portable one? Yeah, no, yeah, that makes sense. So I, when you really think about it, the Switch Pro would have to be both a home and portable. Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure how they can do that. Like, I don't know how they can up the power of the system. And what they really need to do is revise the home screen. Because, like, yeah. I, I, I want, like, like, I want, like, theme music, man. I want, like, theme music, like, from the Wii days. Be cool and I'll, I want, that. like, this animation moving background. No, it's just squares <laughs> and circles. They should have done. They never added a background feature, did they? They they had like a themes setting and like the settings uh, tab, and it's only basic black and basic white. So that's oh, wow. also bothering me. Like the plural <laughs> in themes, but it's only really only two themes, and they're really yeah. basic. Yeah. And if they don't add any more themes to it. That's really going to disappoint me. <laughs> hmm. Well, I, I mean, there's a lot of directions they could take this console. They could make it a full-fledged console, because they haven't made one in a while. Um, since, the, since the Wii U, which has been, I think, four, six years now? Maybe more? Uh, 
think it was a 2014 release. It was a... Uh, 20, oh my god, it was a 2012 release. 2012 release. Yeah, so it's been... Yeah, so I was right, six years. It's been basically six years since a, um, a real console. Like, a, uh, just a home console. Home console, yeah. I think it'd be really cool if they made a new home console. It would be able to have more power. And it would... Granted, it would be more of the Wii U than the Wii U. But, I don't know. I mean, it, it, granted, it's not like a really dumb idea for them to do this. Just I mean, to like, head back. Because with the Switch, it's more of a successor, successor of their portable uh, gaming consoles. But it's just evolved into... It can also be a home console. Mm. And... I feel like... I don't know where they can go next with their consoles because it feels like the Switch is like the, really the definitive console for the company. Yeah. Like, just to go back to being home consoles and not being able to take it around, I mean, that just really seems like a downgrade now. But if they could just figure out the power and how they can upgrade it, I really think the Switch can go on for a really long time. Yeah. Or just make, like, um, well, like, the Switch can last longer, uh, but they could also move on and make a different name. I don't know. But they also discontinued the 3DS manufacturing, so who oh, yeah. knows where they're going <laughs> next with their consoles. It's it's a big risk to to take making a um another jump like they did with the Switch, because they saw how the Wii U did, so it was sort of like do we make another big jump? Which they did, and granted they were rewarded. Um, but I don't know. I think if they do make a pro, it's gonna depend on how the people react. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything else to say? Uh, I'm not I'm not really a hardware guy, even though I own a PC. I, I'm I barely know anything about it. Hmm. I'm more I'm more of a, a game kind of guy. Yeah. I mean, it, it was um, an interesting thing to add to this, because, like, I, I've been thinking about it a lot. Like, where can they go next when the Switch? It, it's basically with their franchises. Like, um, what else can they do with that franchise? With, uh, like, with Mario... And then uh, Smash Bros. Ult- even Smash Bros. Ultimate, like where mm-hmm. can they go next from such a um, a big game with all these characters and all these stages? Like where can you go from that? Like do you just make a different version of it, or I don't know. But the only reasonable way is to port it to a, the next console. But what would the next console even be? You know. Uh, I mean, I feel like everybody in their right mind would go, if Nintendo didn't make a console this year or next year, I feel like no one would argue it, because, I don't know, granted they they weren't able to compete this year against the um the new consoles, but that was because they dominated the market for the entirety of the year. Like, yeah. in an early, um, an early, just early year. Um, of of 2020, they were able to dominate just due to the fact that everybody was home, and Animal Crossing just banked. So it yeah, sort of was, uh, was they definitely got their money's worth the last year, even though it looks like they are still struggling for money. But with the Switch, I I really want to see like some new stuff from it. I want to want to see like. A new home screen, a revised uh, shop channel thing, uh, and a better online <laughs> membership. Yeah. Oh yeah, that definitely needs to be fixed. I I think that should be Nintendo's top priority. If if they're not making a new console, yeah. I I want to see more things from it, but I really don't think they're doing anything with the Switch's hardware. Which kind of disappoints me in a way where can they keep going like this? Like, can they just keep making almost the same games? Like, they can't really make any more games from this console, if you really think about it. Because either 
it's not talked about anymore or they or they put themselves in a corner with that franchise mm-hmm. uh, um, I don't know I mean there's a lot that's of all I have with it yeah um, that's actually all I have in my notes so do you have anything else uh third party reps that are rumored for game this could be another speed um another speed section all right uh, so speeding through it, we have the Final Fantasy VII remake and other Final Final Fantasy, uh, properties. Uh, they're basically confirmed to be on the Switch. Um, mm-hmm. Kingdom Hearts three, I th- Kingdom Hearts three. I think that was a big rumor to be on the console, only because it's not on it. People are saying that Sora could be the next character to be added to Smash with this game. I could maybe see it. Uh, then there's the big games of this year, which were Call of Duty Cold War, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Watch Dogs 3, and a maybe GTA 5 and or 6 release if they ever decide to make that. <laughs> uh, then they have stuff like Far Cry Primal and Fallout 3 and New Vegas. So those are all of the stuff I have. And then some confirmed stuff that we have are Subnautica coming soon this year and hopefully the Lego Star Wars game. Hmm. Yeah, and that's all I have for third party reps. I didn't get enough time to do indie games, so yeah, maybe we'll probably get Security Breach. Um, so not Security Breach. Yeah, even though it seems it, to be a PS4 property, but at this point, uh, it's a great game. I heard uh, it was like it was just gonna be on the PS5 for like a little bit, then onto the Xbox and and maybe the Switch. I'm not sure about the Switch, but. Mm. I can see security breach breach on a switch. Well, actually, no. Because we don't even know what the game is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we only just saw the reveal trailer and doesn't really show what the gameplay is. I know there's like a lot of leaks of what it is, but I'm not going to look into that. I don't really want to be spoiled. Hmm. Uh, I, think, I think there's a lot of um, things they could do with FNAF because uh, FNAF has obviously just became a big part of today's society and it's kind of scary to think that if FNAF got security breach that that just inches us closer to the the, the final day <laughs> where <laughs> Freddy Fazbear is added to Smash as a me costume. Yeah. <laughs> well I mean like the FNAF movie starts filming in the spring. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh god. Oh god, it's all lining up. It's the stars. Up. The stars. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the Smash and like the next Smash character to be announced. Everybody's so excited. And all you hear is the like the phone guy just hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and then Smash Bros. X right next to Freddy. I don't I don't need that thought in my mind today. I don't. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's that's all I have. Um, Nintendo's a really fun company to talk about. There's a, definitely a lot that we left out, but that's because there's so much about Nintendo that it's sort of impossible to cover everything and every small detail about games that could come out or games that are coming out. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So what kind of conclusion do we have here for Nintendo this year? Um, take your time. Um, you know, don't rush yourself. Hopefully you get a good, um, they get a good, you know, opening with the Nintendo world. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maybe we'll get a new trailer. It's funny how I have to say that. I hope we get a new trailer for a theme park. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I think we're probably going to get three, um, or not three, like the last one and then two more. So probably get the Mario Kart one, Mario Kart ride, and then another subsection. Yeah. Um, but besides that. Uh, release, just give us something on Metroid Prime 4, please. I can I can only beg. Um, what else? This is the last year for Smash characters, so make them good. And reveal a Volume 3. Just kidding. <laughs> Sakurai, Sakurai's done so well, I would be fine if he didn't do anything. Yeah. Um, don't let the final day come. Uh, and, uh... Um... Yeah. Really excited for the 35th anniversary for Zelda and the 25th anniversary for Pokemon. Those are big franchises. Mm-hmm. And we heard a lot of stuff about it. And there's also Breath of the Wild 
2, which I'm really excited about because Breath of the Wild is my most favorite game ever of all time. And Damn. Why wasn't it on your list? I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. When do you think the next Direct's going to be? <laughs> oh, God. When was the last time we had one? I can't like remember. Like a serious one, too. Not a mini one. No, not um, like it. Not like a third party or indie direct. Just like a main first party direct, which we haven't uh, had in a long time. Nintendo Direct, September fourth, two thousand nineteen. Oh, we have been a year in. That wow. So <laughs> all of twenty twenty was just like mini third party and indie directs. Don't forget when John Cena was announced. Oh yeah, <laughs> I I probably should have brought that up. Oh yeah, and then there was also the the Mario Direct, oh, the yeah. Mario thirty fifth anniversary Direct. So actually, we're probably gonna see like a Zelda Direct and a Pokemon Direct this year. Yeah, it's probably just to get some stuff out. Of so the way. like the next main first party Direct, I think March. Maybe if March. I put my money, I put my money in March because I remember there being another one in March. There was yeah. one last year in March, I think. And if not, just give it to me in February. Mm, oh. Yeah. It'd be really funny if, like, by the time you're done editing this, it comes out, and we're just proven wrong. Yeah. I mean, a lot a lot of people um, leaked, like, uh, like, a document that said the next direct is going to be on January 11th, but it was, it was, very, it it was very fake. Like, yeah. it, it's... It was supposed to say software, but it said soft war. <laughs> <laughs> and there was like these like uh other ti- game titles like that seemed really obscure to be announced and then like released like so not so far away uh from the, the from January eleventh date, so it yep. didn't really make sense to me. It was very fake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that leak too. It um, it really confused me, but I knew it wasn't true. I've been through my fair share of leaks that have made me go through pain. Yeah. Uh, so that's all we have to talk about. Yep. I guess we can it off. So thank, so thank you all to listening to our rants about Nintendo, about how they disappoint us every year. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this has been MW Nick. And hi, Poger. Please check me out. I probably have stuff out. He doesn't have any <laughs> stuff out, but <laughs> uh, yeah, we got some. We got a lot of stuff coming up this year for ourselves, and we'll be also make, be making more discussion and prediction videos for other video game companies later down the line this year. Um. Yeah. Yay. Fun. Bye. Right. Bye.